Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today my travels have brought me to a little village outside of Alton in Hampshire. And it's a village called Hartley Mordet. And it's an abandoned village, so they say. Uh, if you go online and read up about it, it's quite a fascinating read. Basically, it's a village which has only now got left a church. And opposite is a lake, which is quite, quite pretty. Now just over there is a church which is called St. Leonard's. Now that church is rumoured to be called the Ghost Church. There's been many, many sightings of ghosts and strange things happening. And it was about six months ago where I came on my own at night and I did a ghost hunt around that church, St. Leonard's. And some pretty weird, strange stuff happened to me. But unfortunately, unfortunately, I accidentally deleted a lot of the film footage that I filmed that night. But some of it remains and I'm going to show you some of it. And believe you me, it was quite scary that night going around. I even walked around the lake. I tried to spot the legendary coachman which is meant to walk walk around the church and ride his horse and coach along the river apparently on a foggy night or misty night you can see the coachman riding from the road all the way up because right at the far end under the water is meant to have been where his coach house was and you can see it all moving the mist or the fog moving all in a line as if there's something riding across the lake and underneath this lake is meant to be the old village some houses and when it's when it's very dry and the water level drops here some people say that they can see the tops of the houses whether that's true or not I don't know but I did come here six months ago like I said and did a nighttime ghost hunt over in the church and I'm going to have a walk over there now and I'm going to show you a few clips of that night and some pretty spooky stuff went on that night they filmed a TV series here which was Great Expectations and it's been on BBC and I'm going to show you the scenes that were there that they used from the church and I'll show you one now actually So the church just there and they did a scene in the darkness at night time of the boy walking along the road going into the church and the tower was taller had all the lights on and that's one of the scenes that was in the TV series and I'm going to walk over to the church and show you the other scenes that they used in the church and tell you a bit about the church. Not that I know much about it. All I know is that I went round there one night and it was very scary. <laughs> so I'm going to go over to the church, show you some more scenes that they filmed from Great Expectations. The scenes that they filmed in the graveyard in 2022. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out. It's on BBC iPlayer. And 
I'll tell you a bit more about what happened to me that night six months ago I'll show you a few clips sadly I don't have all the clips but I will come back I will come back and do another nighttime exploration of maybe the graveyard and the lake see if I can spot a ghost or two <laughs> so yeah let's walk on over to the church So this is the church, supposedly the ghost church, St. Leonard's. And like I said, I did a nighttime ghost hunt here and it was uh, fairly fairly scary actually went in here and on my ghost hunt that night I actually, as soon as I entered in here, I got the chills and I could hear sort of whispering voices, which I've played back to some people and they say they can't hear it, but I could hear it. Maybe it was just in my mind, but when I turn the volume up on that clip, I can actually hear the voices. So give that a go, turn the volume up listen to it I'll play it in a minute turn the volume up and see if you can hear some whispering voices on that clip because um, some people say that they couldn't hear it but I can still hear it when I hear the clip but I'll, I'll play it now listen to this and see if you can hear the voices on that clip when I go into the church entrance there anything uh, <laughs> spooky let's have a look in this church see if it's uh, open you are, you, are, you are most welcome to St Linus Church because of several unfortunate incidents vandalisms we have had us installing CCTV let's see if that's Obviously locked, and if they've been having vandalism, then rightly so. So yeah, I'm getting quite a lot of creepy chills, <laughs> which um, I suppose is normal for when you're in a haunted church, haunted graveyard at night, um, all on my own. And um, I think I'll get this done as soon as possible. <laughs> So, did you hear the whispering in that clip? Because I certainly do. Maybe it's just me. But anyway, also this section here, these here, when I came out of the entrance to the church, seemed to be something hiding behind the headstones and I walked up there, did a bit of talking on video, and then as I came back down, there was a lot of rustling noises, looked like something small ran out from one of these graves, and that obviously scared something up in the tree, which was obviously birds. And at that moment, at that moment, I had to, I had to stop filming, and I couldn't film anymore. It was pretty, um, it was pretty, it was pretty shit or pants time if you know what I mean. <laughs> so I'm just going to have a little walk around, a little scour around, just to make sure there's no one here out of the, out of the unordinary 
if you know what I mean. It's a really, really nice church, small, but yeah, really nice. Um, it is still in use, this church as well. Um, so, yeah, and immediately as soon as I entered the, the gate, I've got the chills, um, and I feel sort of on edge. So maybe it will live up to its to its to its saying of being the ghost church. They say if you walk three times around this church anti-clockwise then you may you may summon the coachman which is what I've just been on about with the lake and that's what I tried to do that night and obviously I didn't summon him but there was something definitely behind these headstones now I'm going to show you these clips from Great Expectations I'll show you the view from the lake when Pip, Pip was the character, he's the boy who came here to visit his parents who incidentally were buried just along there obviously, obviously made up graves, they're not real ones and there was a prisoner here which he got into a fight with and then there was another clip where he was running from someone and that bush over there in this clip I'm about to show you, you can see in in the clip so it's that bush there you can see in this clip and then when he enters the graveyard just here he's then looking this direction now on the clip there is no there is no leaves on the trees so it's a bit different there's leaves on the trees but you can see the window and all of this brickwork you can see this headstone And then he runs, he runs up here. And then just here, along here, were the headstones of his parents. Obviously all made up, obviously all made up. But he runs past them, he runs past this tree. And then just here, not the first headstone, but the second headstone, just in the middle, he goes over and he picks some flowers up just down there on the ground there. And I know it's that second one because of the way the heads are on the headstones. And that is the clip of Great Expectations in this graveyard of St. Leonard. It's only a small graveyard. Many paranormal investigators have been here. And that night I came was definitely, definitely quite creepy, quite spooky. So I will be back. I will come back. I will come back and do another ghost hunt. See if I can summon the coachman. We'll have a walk around the church. 
and have a walk around the lake and see what I can find. Now this church is basically in the middle of nowhere and it's very popular with tourists and like I've said if you walk around it three times anti-clockwise it's believed you can summon the coachman and we've had a bit of vandalism over the last few years hence they have got CCTV here there's a lot of people come and visit and it's an interesting church a lot of stories about it and a lot of stories about the graveyard as well so if you like this video hit the like button and hit the subscribe button as well that way that way you won't miss out on any of my videos and always go and check out my other videos as well. So from St Leonard's in Hartley Maudit, near Alton, I shall say take care and I'll see you next time.